Yoo-hoo! Why, thou? Yoo-hoo to you, too. <laughs> you have such good taste. How do you do it? I always make the wise choice. Wise potato chips, of course. Nice golden color. Mm. And rich tasting. Naturally. Taste-wise, wise potato chips are really something to hoot about. Wise chips do have good taste, like you. Aww. Get wise. Make the wise choice. Peter Allen. Today at 5. Your father is still in Monticello? Yeah, he's still in town. He, um... He never left. Why? I mean, this may sound like a dumb question, but that guy is trying to kill him. I know I'd leave town. Well, that's what the guy who's chasing him is hoping he's gonna do. What? He's figuring my old man's dumb enough to try and skip town, right? So I bet you he's got his boys at the airport, at the train station, at the bus station, just waiting to pick him up. So what does your father do in the meantime? He waits. He waits until he figures this dude hasn't seen him in some time. And then he thinks my old man really did skip town. And then that's the time that you hightail it out of here. Very clever. Very clever. So where's Dell? Oh, he's, you know, he's here and there. Preacher. Look, those guys can read you like a book. So if I don't tell you where he is, and they ask you, you're gonna be telling them the truth. What, are you protecting me from myself? Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? The well, last time I was here, I got a good night's sleep on this couch. That was before Miles went to London. Well, you know, my apartment looks like a battlefield. Do you know that? Preacher. Look, as long as that big dude is out there with a knife, I'm staying. How did he know where I lived anyway? He, um, he paid a visit to Miles. I'll get you a blanket. Hey, hey, what do you need a blanket for when I got you to keep me warm? Preacher, huh? this is a dangerous situation, and I don't mean because of the guy who's following your father. I know what you mean. Good night, Preacher. You know, I didn't hear any doors being locked. Edge of Night is brought to you by today's cheer, made to work hard in today's lower temperatures, and by Secret, strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Come on, Josh. Sally, I oh. said I'd work out with you, but not in this. Oh, honey, baby blue's your color. Sal, where I grew up, wearing baby blue in a gym could be dangerous. Oh, okay, okay. Just hand me my secret, huh? Here. Oh, that's yours. I need my secret solid. Now, why do we have two any first burns? The secret works. And working out without it could really be dangerous. But my spray's strong. Honey, Secret helps me stay drier. Sometimes it's very nice to work out next to. Stronger than mine? I'll try it. Josh, Secret's for women. Goes on silky, dry, and smell. 
Mmm, pretty. Mm, not like a guy. Yeah, but if it's strong... Oh, honey, remember? Baby blue isn't your color. <laughs> Secret strong enough for a man. But made for a woman. Remember roller rinks? I always skated with my steady Eddie in my favorite white pleated skirt. At least till creepy Jimmy Carlson started showing off. But Mom cleaned it with cheer and hot water. Today, I wash differently in more warm and cold water. And cheer knows it. That's why today's all-temperature cheer is so tough and warm and cold. How tough? Tough enough to clean these and warm. And tough enough to clean this collar in cold and without pre-treating. Here's that collar. Cheer cleaned it in cold without pre-treating. And these, cheer did great and warm. See? Cheer's changed with the times. Even roller skating's changed. But I think I can adapt. In today's cooler temperatures, you can trust today's cheer. Peter Nevins. You ready for the big story I promised you? Well, it's about time. Listen carefully. I don't like repeating myself. You familiar with Schenker, Buffner, and Glick? Sure. It's one of uh, Monticello's leading brokerage houses. cartoon voices and funny masks, huh? I protect my sources, you know. If you'd only trust me, I'd... Hello? Hello? I only wish I could have seen the little old Dot Earl's face when Skylar told her about the rats. <laughs> rats? Yes, and then Gunther comes running in with a shovel, saying that there were rats coming out of the kitchen. Skylar didn't know who to grab first. Dot or her uh, decorator, Maximilian, because they both look like they were about to faint. Never have there been rats in a Whitney house. Oh, Geraldine. My dear Raven, eventually the Earls will find you out. Not at their pace. They will be moving in. Now, believe me, you can't shut them out forever. I don't know. <clears throat> I've managed to put them off for two more weeks, and I haven't even begun to fight. And when those two weeks are up, how many plagues do you plan to visit on that poor old house? Well, let's see. According to the escrow agreement, the roof is not allowed to leak and the foundation has to be very secure. So, um, oh, maybe a mudslide. Raven, you wouldn't. <laughs> Why, I'd sure like to see this one stuffed. That's odd. Uh, no, it's uh, one of those harem costumes, you know. No, 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 no. no, no, no. The tuxedo <laughs> is missing. Oh, yeah, the tux? I thought it would be a perfect costume for the owner of the speakeasy. Oh, you, you sure it's gone? Well, it was unlisted on Preacher's inventory. Well, maybe he just helped himself. No, Gunther, you don't know that he took it. Oh, yeah? Well, he's the only other person that's got a key to this place. No, uh, I don't know. Well, you may be right. Oh, come on. Give a guy some credit. Of course I'm right. All right, let's talk to him. I want to use that tuxedo. Hey, look, I told you that you should have fired him. a word with you.
bright and happy. New Happy Cat from Sharina. The new moist and meaty tasting cat food. Happy Cat stays fresh and meaty tasting in the bowl so cats can come back for more all day. Mmm, get happy. New Happy Cat cat food. It's delicious meaty taste. Makes cats happy all day. You have to walk an hour to burn off one of these. Drink this much cola and you're eating this much sugar. And you'd be amazed at the weight you could lose cutting out a slice of bread a day. Hi, I'm Mary Ellen, and in this week's Star, I'll give you 101 of my best high tips to help you stay slim. Also in the Star, Sinatra's crumbling marriage. They've hardly been seen together in weeks. And an exclusive Star series reveals that John Wayne, his fans never knew by the woman who loved him to the end. Take a hint from Mary Ellen. Pick up the Star this week. I see the exterminator's gone. Yeah, right. Um, well, he said that since the poison settled that we could take the sheets off the furniture. Uh, and he's supposed to come back in a couple of weeks to check on it, uh, the exterminator. Lady, just who in the hell do you think we are? Well, Dot and good old Jim Earl. Just because we're friendly people don't mean we're total greenhorns. Oh, no, no, no. You I... must have pegged us for some real idiots. <laughs> of course not. Well, no, I mean, we just were concerned that the house was habitable. Ah, here I was halfway around the globe, sewing up a couple of million in a business deal. And then I find out that you're putting Dot through that old runaround. She said there were termites, and then he said there were rats. Termites? Rats? It's... A whole bunch of hogs squealed to uh, me. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Earl, Mr. Earl, we didn't sell the house to you. Spencer Varney didn't. He had no right to. Now, that is the truth. I ought to haul your butt into court, mister. Uh, and I thought you were our kind of people. It just goes to show you, Bunny. Oh, just look what you put my little old wife through. Total mental collapse. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Uh, she didn't have far to collapse. Yeah, well, well, there's uh, no termites, no, uh, no rats. Yeah, no more Whitney's. You have got just 24 hours to vacate these premises or else. Let's go, Doc. Me, preacher. You all right? Dell. You stupid old man. Oh, so there you are. Hey, what's happening, man? I've been looking for you. Well, surprise, surprise, here I am. Have you been fooling with, uh, company property? What the hell are you talking about, man? Look, don't play dumb with me. That's real easy to do with you, isn't it? Listen, I'm not fooling around. Neither am I, Gus. Now, get off me, man. Just give me... I don't know what your problem is, but don't you ever, ever, never mess with me again. Just you give me that tux, okay? You want a tux? Go rent one. I'm talking about the one that we own. It's on the rack. Get it yourself. It's not here. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What do you mean it's not here? I do the inventory. I checked it out myself. Oh, yeah? Well, Wiley was down here, and he was looking for it, and it's not here. So uh, why don't you just uh, bring it back, okay? I don't got it. Well, find it. Maybe it just got up and walked away, huh? Well, maybe I'll just break your face. If there's a tuxedo in there, I'll find it. Okay? I think you better. Because I am going to go buy one, and I'm going to take it out of your salary. I must say, Peter, I find this very hard to believe. Schenker, Offner & Glick is one of the most prestigious, if not the oldest, brokerage house in the entire city. They're also about to go under. How does something like this happen? Well, a few months ago, the firm made a really bad investment in some banks that were 
loaning huge amounts to Wildcat oil companies. The oil companies went belly up, and so did three of the banks. I remember. Well, the uh, brokerage firm had losses in the millions, and rather than suffer the uh, embarrassment and the loss of business that would entail, they took their, uh, their investors' capital and tried to cover the losses. From one pocket to another? Well, they hoped to make it back, but uh, things only got worse. I see. Are you sure you have your story straight? Well, I spent the afternoon with one of their senior vice presidents. Uh, he kept me on hold on the phone while he kept changing his story. That is not a confirmation. Well, then I told him I was going to go with my story, and that's when he asked me for a little more time. He said he wanted to cover the debts and make up the losses. Mm. Uh, uh, who did you say gave you the story? Oh, uh, Geraldine, I'm afraid I have to protect my source. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> well, what do you say? Do we, uh, do we run the story? Run it. Peter, I want this story to be tonight's lead story. <laughs> stupid as I thought. Aha, uh -huh. you've been found out. Yes, uh, Mr. Earl said that everything was just a bunch of hog swill. Hog swill? And then he gave us 24 hours to get out of the house. Well, sure, you didn't expect to keep them out indefinitely, did you? It's just not fair. I'm supposed to be rich. That's supposed to be my house. Nevertheless, 24 hours is not a very long time. It certainly is not. Well, what do you and Scott propose to do? Where will you go? I don't know. I'm all out of plans. I'm also all out of minks and cars. We had to sell the limo in order to pay taxes. We had to sell the sports car. The money from the station wagon is going to the investigator to find Spencer. Scott did refuse my offer of a loan. He also refused a job at the studio. I don't know where we're going to live. We don't have enough money to buy a tent. <clears throat> Raven, I'll probably live to regret this. But I have an offer for you. Now, you may not like it. Oh, I don't care. Tell me I'm desperate. You and Scarlett will be welcome to stay with me for a while. Oh, Geraldine. Oh, oh you're so wonderful. I love you. Now, the, uh, the hotel suite may be a little cramped with three people in it, but you're welcome to your old room. Oh, great. We'll have to get a bigger bed. And I'd like to redo the wallpaper, make it a little more cheery, and we'll have to paint, but we can do that later. Oh, yeah, well, I, I believe I did say it was just a temporary measure. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are so wonderful. Oh, I can't wait to find out what Sky says. Yes. I'm sure he'll be as thrilled as I am. Are you crazy? Come on, Skyler, just give it a 
chance. Uh, no way, no chance, no way. Please. Look, we are not moving into Geraldine's apartment, and that is the end of the discussion case closed. Skylar Whitney, you're being very unreasonable. Good. All right. Then I'll just move in by myself. That's fine with me. Oh, Go right ahead. come on, Sky. Come on. We'll have fun. Look, Raven, every Tuesday night, there's going to be a bunch of old ladies over there from the uh, Save the Butterfly Foundation. <laughs> There'll be tea and crumpets served. We'll have waltz music on the radio. We're I mean, talking about Geraldine. We'll find another hotel. All right. But I hope you own it, because we're going to have to stay there for free. I am not going to sponge off Geraldine. Darling, we don't have much of a choice. It won't be forever. No, it'll just seem like that. Well, it'll change as soon as we get Gantz to find Spencer and get our money back. <laughs> then it will be forever. I can show myself in. Yes. Good evening, Mrs. Saxon. I'm Giles Etheridge. May I come in? Well, uh, actually, I was, I was just on my way out. Well, that's why I sought you out. I'm afraid that you and I are involved in a bit of a scrape. Scrape? Yes. It appears that my limousine has nicked your limousine. No, it's just a tiny dent, I assure you, but... I am so terribly sorry. Bugs. To wipe them out, you gotta get them where they begin. Back in the walls, hiding and breeding. But there's an easy way. Use Decon Fogger. Ends Bugs where they begin. Decon Fogger has microfine mist. He goes everywhere. Penetrates even the tiniest cracks to get behind walls. Kills bugs where they breed. Wipes out roaches, ants, fleas, and puts you back in control. Decon Fugger ends bugs where they begin. I want you to meet something for your arthritis pain and your aspirin-sensitive stomach. Maximum strength Equitrin, safety-coated aspirin. It's orange safety coating works so well. Millions of you can take even maximum strength aspirin without all aspirin stomach upset. It's not the aspirin substitute. It's aspirin for minor pain relief. Safety coated to protect your stomach. Now, if your doctor says aspirin, take it. But make it maximum strength Echotrin. It's safety coated, it's orange. <laughs> My driver that he was a bit too close but to no avail i'm afraid mrs saxon although his credentials and his references are all in order he is a bit new at his profession i understand i assure you that the damage to your limousine is is minimal and i'm prepared to make full restitution i'm sorry to force myself on you this way but i felt that an apology in person was truly necessary. That's really very kind of you. Well, it's my pleasure, dear lady, my pleasure. You're English, Mr. Etheridge? Yes. Here on business, really. I'm stopping at the Monticello Arms. Oh, really? Yes. I live there. How splendid. Charming place, isn't it? A bit of the old world and a bit of the new. Yes, I'm very comfortable there. Mm. Or was. Would it be an imposition on you for me to ask for a small kindness? Not at all. Well, I'm afraid that I sent my driver off to the repair shop while I came up here to make restitution to you. But the slightest scratch on an automobile of mine is like a wound to me. And now you need a ride back to the hotel. I could hire a taxi, of course. No, no, no. It's no favor at all. I'd be happy to take you back. That's most kind of you. I will, um... I'll point out the damage that I did to your lovely car. Oh, well, from what you say, it's not very serious. Still, I shall make arrangements immediately to have it repaired. Thank you. You are a gentleman. Thank you so much for saying so, Mrs. Sexton.
exclusive story, this reporter has learned that Monticello's second largest brokerage firm, Schenker, Ruffner & Glick, is on the verge of bankruptcy. When contacted at his office, I guess it's our last night here. It's hard to believe. All the Whitneys that have lived in this house. All the history this old house has seen. You know, I was playing this music when I proposed to you. I remember the first time I stepped into this house. It felt like home immediately. in that room that we got married. Yeah. And I just got my picture put up. We'll find a place for it at Geraldine's. No. It belongs here. So do we. We'll get it back. Don't worry, we'll get it back. Delicious way to help stay in shape. You stretch, you bend, and kick. Extend, and every day you start with the K Kellogg Special K. High protein, low sugar Kellogg Special K cereal now has bigger, crispier flakes to make your low calorie Special K breakfast delicious. It's sure looking good on you. Watch weight, great shape. To stay this way, take to the K Kellogg Special K. Okay. Tonight at 8, 7 Central and Mountain, Burt Lancaster stars as a scientist whose bizarre experiments horrify man. When H.G. Wells' novel, The Island of Dr. Moreau, comes thrillingly to life, the ABC Thursday night movie. reach out and hug someone but how do people feel about him i'll talk to dr love plus a sheriff who vowed to clean up a town run by the mob and found himself on the wrong side of the law plus you'll meet hall and oates the best-selling duo in the history of pop music tonight on 2020. focaccios just for you you'll love them focaccios pantyhose just for you a guaranteed success Good afternoon. I'm Cuddy Tom reporting from the Eyewitness Newsroom. Coming up at 5, the FBI says extortion is probably the motive in the case of the gravy mix spiked with a deadly insecticide. Gloria Rojas will have a live report on this new angle to the story, and we'll have this report. These two guys have dedicated their lives to spending time together in a special way. Side by side, we two.
starting Tuesday, the television event of the summer, Masada. At the Knoxville World's Fair, we laid a carpet to prove that one light self-cleaning rug cleaner with fiber pelt keeps rugs cleaner longer. After the crowd dirty the carpet, we cleaned and vacuumed it with fast, easy, no-scrub wool light. Later, when the crowds dirtied the rug again, all it took was a vacuuming to get it clean. Because Woolite has fiber pell, which keeps rugs cleaner longer. So get Woolite self-cleaning rug cleaner with fiber pell. Makes rugs easy to clean, hard to dirty.